Meghan Markle leaves for Europe to reunite with Prince Harry. Greetings from Royal Family Lud, my channel. Meghan Markle flew out of the country to attend the Invictus Games with Prince Harry. Meghan Markle was seen leaving Los Angeles for the Invictus Games in Germany with her husband. The Duchess of Sussex was seen in pictures obtained by the Daily Mail flying out of the United States with her bodyguard carrying part of her luggage and clothing. The former star of Suits wore a casual ensemble for her transatlantic flight including an ivory pair of Valentino mules, a black loose three-quarter length pant, and a V-necked long-sleeved blouse. Meghan was seen getting a burger from an in and out location close to the Sussex's $14.6 million Montecito home before she arrived at the airport. The former actress will arrive in London and take a British Airways flight to Dusseldorf where she will meet up with Harry on the third day of the Invictus Games. Tessa Dunlop, a royal authority, said that the Duchess of Sussex was thinking about a large gift to celebrate Prince Harry's 39th birthday on Friday, September 15. They'll do something meaningful. They're in a neutral space in Germany, and I think they'll have a good one," she said to Auk magazine. On Saturday, September 16, Prince Harry is scheduled to deliver a significant address during the competition's closing ceremony. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Meghan Markle takes off quickly to attend the Dusseldorf Invictus Games with Prince Harry. Pictures of Meghan Markle boarding a plane bound for London's Heathrow have put an end to rumors over whether she will be attending the 2023 Invictus Games alongside her husband, Prince Harry. Meghan Markle has boarded an aircraft to travel to Germany's Dusseldorf to support her husband, Prince Harry, at the 2023 Invictus Games. She was spotted last night arriving at LAX in California to board a plane for London Heathrow. Later, she is anticipated to travel to Germany. Last Thursday, Harry took a flight to the UK to attend the Wellchild Awards in London. He paid a visit to his grandmother Queen Elizabeth's final resting place at Street George Chapel in Windsor the day after her passing to commemorate the first anniversary. On Saturday night, he traveled to Dusseldorf to attend the 2023 Invictus Games opening ceremony. Meghan, who was always scheduled to meet Harry in the middle of the tournament, is believed to have stayed in California to take care of Prince Archie, four, and Princess Lilibet, two, while Harry traveled to England. Even though there were rumors that she was canceling the trip after her name was for some reason taken off the itinerary, she had her long hair pulled back in a low ponytail and was dressed in all black with loose-fitting J. Crew sweater v-neck sweatshirt and baggy high-waisted slacks by Illa Johnson. Megan wore the ensemble with white Valentino flats and her bodyguard, who was toting a suit bag, was by her side. The Duchess is scheduled to arrive in London today morning, and she will likely board a plane for Dusseldorf this afternoon. Prior to his important address at the game's closing ceremony on Saturday, the day after his 39th birthday, she is flying out to be by his side. Meghan is anticipated to briefly appear on stage with her husband and address the audience. Harry may be seen beaming as he enters the third day of the games. Harry, who launched the Invictus Games in 2014, has been actively participating in the competitions this year. He gave a wheelchair rugby player a hearty embrace and a head kiss yesterday. Following the competition on Monday, Team U.S. player Davey Martinez handed medals and the Royal joined him in the action. On the second day of the games, he saw a variety of track and field competitions from the stands, including the 100-meter and discus finals for various divisions. He then made his way over to the indoor court to watch wheelchair rugby matches between eight teams in a knockout format. In the gold medal game, Team USA defeated the UK 21-13, and Harry presented the medals. The remaining events of the week will include swimming, table tennis, and archery before coming to an end on Saturday. Although Meghan Markle arrived in London today, she will not be staying in the UK for very long, Mail Online can exclusively reveal. Meghan Markle appeared happy as she boarded the plane from the US last night to join her husband at the Invictus Games in Germany. A solitary bodyguard carrying some of the Duchess of Sussex's baggage and clothing was seen accompanying her as she boarded a plane in Los Angeles bound for Heathrow. Her last transatlantic trip was to London for the Queen's burial in September of last year. She will be present for Harry's 39th birthday on Friday thanks to her vacation. Today in Dusseldorf, Harry and his friend JJ Chalmers attended a wheelchair basketball game between Team UK and Ukraine. 
He was seen joking around with the former Marine who participated in the 2014 Invictus Games in London. While serving in the Royal Marines and stationed in Helmand in 2011, Chalmers sustained catastrophic injuries as a result of a bomb explosion. His right elbow collapsed and he lost two fingers. Harry is expected to return to his hotel to await the arrival of his wife Meghan after watching the indoor rowing. Harry made a surprise appearance at a tent for competitors to mingle earlier. He was again out and about and had a bounce in his step. He entered the team respect tent flanked by his bodyguard and removed his sunglasses as he was introduced to a senior German military official. Away from the competition, contestants can unwind in the team respect area, and Harry spoke with volunteers at booths where they could purchase Invictus Games mementos. The German military, the Bundeswehr, which planned the competitions, runs the marquee. In the sweltering heat, a sizable group of German soldiers awaited Harry's arrival. However, several people felt left out because they were unable to view Meghan. After being seen driving her $140,000 Black Range Rover to have a burger from in and out near the Sussex's $14.6 million Montecito home, she left Archie and Lilibet at home last night and was whisked in at Lax in a white luxury BMW. Just before 6 p.m. local time, 2 a.m. UK time, Megan arrived at the airport and smiled as she exited her limo while donning a trademark hat, a pair of oversized $500 Celine sunglasses, a pair of $770 Ivory Valentino mules, and a pair of black, baggy, three-quarter length pants. Her lone security was carrying a knapsack and dark suit carrier that might have held one of Megan's dresses while she was carrying a $2,650 Goyard tote bag.